Percy? What are you looking for out there? Also, what are you doing in my house? Quiet, Tom! I'm looking for Shrieking Mike. He's been rumoured to be prowling in the area. Shrieking Mike? Who's that? Your uncle? No, you idiot! He's a cryptid! He's a cryptid, you know, like a Bigfoot or the Alaskan Dogfucker. Alright, but what would a fantastical creature like that be doing in Islington? I'm not gonna lie, Percy. It sort of seems like you've had a complete nervous breakdown. You think I'm crazy? Well, I'll bet they said the same things to Charles Darwin and, and L. Ron Hubbard when they were on the verge of their biological breakthroughs. Me and Reddit user u slash country bumpkins have been talking about Shrieking Mike for weeks. And that's because we're the only two people who have ever seen him. It doesn't make it any less real. Percy, I don't think Shrieking Mike's real. Not real? Explain this! I have drawn over 4,000 illustrations of Shrieking Mike in the last two weeks. You think I could have just imagined a creature in this level of detail? Do you? You think I could have imagined this? Yes. <sighs> Listen, Tom. The world is not as it seems. There are horrors of unknown magnitude out there, lurking around every dark corner on a friendly street and underneath our cushy carpets. I'm terrified of going outside. Anything could be out there, hunting, searching, for any unlucky wanderer who happens to be in its path. I know for a fact that both Shrieking Mike and the CIA are looking for me right now and they want me dead. Every time I leave my front door, I know I'm risking either a bullet to the brain or a wet tendril in my ear. I can't take it anymore, Tom. Percy, this is all in your head. Listen, the world is designed to make you feel paranoid, what with the news blasting details of grisly murders at you, trying to make you afraid to go outside, but that's not reality. The streets are safer than you think. A stranger on the street isn't looking to kill you. In fact, you're more likely to be murdered at home. The majority of killers are family members, loved ones, spouses, <laughs> even close friends. What was that last one? Uh, close friends. Oh, I see. Yes, it's been done. No, it was no problem at all. Yes, very well. Anything for you. Shrieking Mike. <laughs> <laughs>